If we are to form the United States of Europe, we must begin now. Despite Mr. Macmillan's friendship with de Gaulle, they came to nothing. Britain has much to contribute to this process, and as members of the community, we shall be better able to do so. You see, yes is now showing at 67%, and the no vote at 33%. The president of the commission, Mr. Delors, said at press conference the other day that he wanted the European Parliament to be the democratic body of the community, he wanted the commission to be the executive, and he wanted the Council of Ministers to be the Senate. No, yeah. no, yeah. no. I have to say, Mr. Speaker, that I find Winston Churchill's perception a good deal more convincing and more encouraging for the interest of our nation than the nightmare image sometimes conjured up by my right honourable friend. That Britain's best interests are served by suspending our membership of the exchange rate mechanism. Like me or loathe me, don't bind my hands when I am negotiating on behalf of the British nation. Three years ago, I committed to the British people that I would renegotiate our position in the European Union and hold an in-out referendum. Well, at 20 minutes to five, we can now say the decision taken in 1975 by this country to join the common market has been reversed by this referendum uh, to leave the EU. You did it! You did it! You have changed the face of the world! I fought this campaign in the only way I know how which is to say directly and passionately what I think and feel, head, heart and soul. I held nothing back. I was absolutely clear about my belief that Britain is stronger, safer and better off inside the European Union. In my view, we should aim to have a new Prime Minister in place by the start of the Conservative Party conference in October.